Six seasons and 108 episodes later, there's nothing Riverdale fans haven't seen. They're well aware of the show's tendency to spiral into completely unexpected and mind-boggling directions. And now, the teaser for the show's upcoming episode has thrown the audience for another loop, the burning question. Season 6, episode 16's teaser is out and gives fans a sneak peek at what is to come in the Sunday episode of Riverdale, and it's gonna be pretty big. The 30-second teaser gives fans glimpses of Jughead Jones and Betty Cooper getting cozy. Subsequently, Archie Andrew and Veronica Lodge shared a steamy moment as well and left viewers shocked. These glimpses of the popular ex-couples working together and sharing moments together gives Varchi and Bughead fans hope that their wishes might be coming true soon in Riverdale. The alternate dark fantasy version of Riverdale that the quartet is stuck in. Only one question to mind after watching the new teaser trailer. Are Bughead and Varchi about to reunite? Sneak a peek. Let's dissect the contents of the sneak peek that left the internet bamboozled. In the teaser, exes Jughead and Betty can be seen spending some quality time with each other. Betty asks Jughead to read her mind, referring to Jughead's newly discovered psychic abilities. In the next shot, they can both be seen sitting across from each other, holding hands. Now, we know that Jughead doesn't need to hold someone's hands to read their mind, so the scene hints at the coming intimacy. Bughead's uber-effective detective agency seems to be getting a revival, too, as the investigators can be seen hounding Betty's mom, Alice Cooper, for answers. What are you hiding about dad? Betty questioned in the clip. Confusingly, we also see Barcher getting close in a romantic setting, lying on the floor surrounded by candles, but in another scene. Archer can be seen sharing a kiss with Veronica, making us think that Bughead might not be the only couple getting back together. Veronica and Archie kissing in the teaser spells out good things, only for the fandom's favorite exes, who might just be getting together soon. Past Wounds Season 5 brought the quartet back to Riverdale, and in classic Archie fashion, he's back to return Riverdale to its former glory, back to before the show even started. To achieve this monumental goal, he calls upon his friends, Betty, Jughead, and Veronica. Bringing back his friends is a surefire way to solve the problem, but the road back home is filled with heartache and wounds long forgotten. And seven years later, the adult versions of the show's main leads have to deal with their past. The show has already shown the characters homecoming in this season, with Betty and Archie finally addressing the tension that has been brewing between them for so long. Archie fans finally got to see two get steamy in a shower scene, and that too without being bogged down by feelings of guilt for portraying their friends, Jughead and Ronnie. However, true Bughead and Varchi fans need not worry, as the makers have announced both couples to be endgame. While this piece of information is comforting, their path to getting together once and for all has been long, tumultuous, and slightly exhausting, with heartbreak and confusion at every corner. What went wrong? These are the emotions fans of the OG couples had faced when Varchi and Bughead had broken up. Veronica and Archie's split was attributed to Archie being open about his kiss with Betty and developing feelings for her, a transgression Veronica had forgiven him for before they moved on in their relationship. Yet, a rift had been formed in their relationship and the two broke up at graduation. As for Betty and Jughead, it was the Barchi kiss that made things go awry for them as well. Betty noticed Veronica being distant and assumed Archie had told her about the moment they shared. Motivated by this incident, Betty owned up about the mistake to Jughead too. And while the couple seemed to be okay at the time, they grew distant. The two ultimately drifted apart and decided to focus on their careers. Betty went to New Haven early to focus on Yale, and Jughead started thinking about Iowa, but the two did admit that they would always love each other. Seven years later. After seven years in time, while some things have changed drastically, some are still the same. Archie's savior complex is still his guiding light. The quartet still have jumbled up feelings for each other, and things still get super racy when they get together. Addressing what went on in their lives, Archie came back from war, and Veronica was in a toxic marriage in New York. She married Chad Gecko, who worked on Wall Street and was jealous and controlling. He was insecure of Veronica's relationship with Archie and threatened by her life in Riverdale. The direction the show took showed that the marriage wasn't meant to last. Had he been more compatible with Veronica, we might have seen her character arc going differently. Since Varchi has to be in the endgame, Veronica took the same route as her mother, exposing Chad's toxic nature and leaving him. Now the teaser shows that she might finally be falling back into Archie's arms. Season 6 Recap Season 5 ended with Varchi together and a bomb haram lodge planted under Betty and Archie's bed exploding. But the explosion didn't kill the couple. It sent them to an alternate reality Riverdale. Things in Rivervale are much darker than in Riverdale, which is a feat itself. Witches, ghosts, demons, human sacrifices, and special appearances run rampant in Rivervale. And our main cast even get to meet Sabrina Spellman, played by Kiernan Shipka, everyone's favorite witch from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. In the first episode set in Rivervale, Reggie and Cheryl are the town's power couple. Jughead and Tabitha move in together, and Archie and Betty live on like nothing happened. The second episode brought a haunting to town in the form of a vengeful spirit called La Llorona. But the couples around town were busy getting haunted by their own relationship problems. While the third episode brought a surprise visitor, the fourth had Cheryl summoning a familiar and favorite young witch, Sabrina Spellman, to Rivervale. In the fifth episode, Jughead put on his detective hat, and in the sixth episode, news of Betty and Archer's explosion started spreading around town. While our main characters deal with the repercussions of these announcements, Veronica's mom Hermione came to town in episode seven. Percival Pickles wrote a scathing article about Rivervale in episode eight, and Archie starts working on proving him wrong. In episode nine, Percival announced his decision to rid Rivervale 
Riverdale of gangs. Episode 10 showed Jughead, Betty, and Archer planning to make Archie into a modern-day folk hero by performing some epic tasks. Episode 11, 12, and 13 has the couple trying to pursue this plan. What's to come? In episode 14, Archie will start building up his tolerance against Palladium. Veronica will uncover a shocking secret, and Cheryl will have to come to terms with her resurfacing feelings for a childhood crush. Betty, Archer, Veronica, and Jughead have all been navigating the trials and tribulations of Rivervale, and now, it seems like the alternate reality of Riverdale might be pushing them back together in Chapter 109, which is titled Venomous. In other news, while the hints of Varchi and Bughead's reunion are plenty exciting on their own, the internet has been buzzing with more TV news as well. TV bloodbath. The past 48 hours have been devastating for fans and creators alike, as a list of cancelled shows has been released by multiple channels. The TV bloodbath spanned across popular channels like The CW, Fox, NBC, and CBS. The CW has the highest number of cancelled shows as it's reportedly about to be sold soon. The seven cancelled shows for The CW include Dynasty, Charm, 4400, In the Dark, Naomi, Roswell, New Mexico, and Legacies. The second highest number of cancellations was done by CBS. The channel cancelled around half a dozen shows like Be Positive, Good Sam, and Magnum P.I. NBC mixed three shows, including high-profile comedians Keenan and Mr. Mayor. Fox had a relatively shorter list of dropped shows, with only Pivoting and Our Kind of People being taken off the air. ABC Renewals On a brighter note, ABC's list of renewed shows makes fans rejoice. The Connors, Big Sky, Home Economics, A Million Little Things, and The Wonder Years were all reviewed for renewal and are moving forward. The Connors and A Million Little Things will both be getting a fifth season, while Home Economics and Big Sky will be coming back with a third season for each, and The Wonder Years will get a second season, Bo and Tanya returning to Big Sky. While discussing Big Sky's renewal, the third season will see a couple of characters being promoted to series regulars. Supernatural alum Jens Akles, who plays Bo on the show, will be reprising his role for another season. The charming and confident Texan stepped in as a temporary sheriff in Sheriff Tubbs' place. Jenny Hoyt's new boss is receiving a season-long arc. The waitress turned crime syndicate go-to woman Tanya, who came on screen in Season 2, played by Jamie Lynn Seigler, has also been promoted to series regular in Season 3. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Virtue and Bughead will really get back together once and for all in Riverdale's 14th episode? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!